What was a key element of the program Seinfeld that you have to ignore if you want to leave a lasting impact on your audience? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In yesterday's tip, you heard about the magic of the show Seinfeld. The reason it resonated with so many people is that it took everyday situations and made them relatable and funny. In this episode, you'll hear about a key element of Seinfeld that you have to ignore if you want to create a meaningful and memorable message that leaves a lasting impression. One of the best parts about the show Seinfeld over its nine year run is that the characters never really changed. They were fairly egocentric and selfish and that's what created a lot of the humor in between the characters and in the situations they were put in. That works great for a sitcom. Remember, in storytelling, what makes a meaningful and lasting impression on the audience is a change of character. If you share a story of someone who is essentially the same person at the end of the story as she was at the beginning, your audiences might be entertained, but they're going to forget that narrative fairly quickly. We have to see a change in order for people to buy into your idea, especially if you're pro uh, selling a product or service. For example, one of my early stories was called Find Your Mud Puddle. It involved a difficult time in my life when there was a tremendous amount of tension in my family and in my marriage. I was stressed. I was reactionary. I just wasn't in a good place. Well, one day after a particularly intense argument with my spouse, I went out into my backyard and I found my three-year-old son, Brendan, jumping into a mud puddle. And at first I was angry because he was wearing, of course, white shoes, white t-shirt, and they were just getting covered. But after I got past that, it finally hit me that my son was relieving his tension by jumping in that mud puddle. Completely changed my perspective. It also helped me realize just how stressed out and out of control my life felt. By the end of that story, I had looked for new ways to relieve my stress and to deal with a difficult family situation. I had changed. That's what your audiences want when they listen to your narrative. They want to see you in some type of difficulty or struggle and at the end have a better perspective, a new way of living. As you're crafting your stories, don't repeat one of the key elements of Seinfeld. They didn't change, we need to. Change your character, make a connection. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.